Well, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder with UpperMichiganSource.com. A bitter cold start for some. We'll show you where. Oh, we do warm up ahead of the next front. A steady south breeze helps things warm up, uh, especially across the western UP. And we'll talk about our chance for snow in just a moment. Look at some of these colder temperatures and places like Doe Lake, Spinsich Lake across uh, portions of Alger and Luce counties into the teens and into the 20s below zero, in fact. But we do warm up and places like Ironwood have seen steadily warming temperatures through the morning. We fell into the single digits below zero, though, in places like Marquette County. Watch this steady south breeze help warm things up. Winds were calm overnight, and we've seen increasing cloud cover through this, uh, this morning. It was mainly clear across much of upper Michigan, but starting to see some moisture working in. Some snow also working across those western counties, and that'll be the theme today as uh, the latest clipper type system moves in. Not a whole lot of moisture associated with this thing, as you can see, and much of that moisture should stay toward north. Nonetheless, with warm air moving in and some moisture to talk about, a little bit of a lake enhancement off of Lake Michigan, too. We talk about some snow across upper Michigan. Of course, it's a messy morning for folks way up into uh, the New England states as that deep low pressure system works towards Nova Scotia through your Thursday. Cold air filters in back behind that front, so these guys are starting to cool down now. And uh, as we look closer to home, we also dealt with some cold air. You can see Kappa's casing into the teens below zero. So your airport checking in well below what we expect for this time of year, unfortunately. But we already see evidence of a nice warm front moving in. You can see that here. So here's that moisture we were just talking about. And though most of that stays north, we may talk about a stray snowflake here and there. And uh, with that steady southerly flow, we warm up nicely. But that clipper works in through tonight and early Friday. The thing is essentially overhead. So we start with a southerly flow, increasing moisture. Obviously, we see more widespread snow into our Friday morning. And there is also a wedge of warm air to talk about. That may lead to perhaps some freezing rain, freezing drizzle, maybe uh, even a plain old raindrop. And then uh, as we look uh, later in the uh, day, we start to see a northwest wind take hold. That brings some colder air in. We cool down Friday night into our Saturday. High pressure builds in. That will eventually clear us out Saturday, but there will be a north wind into Saturday morning. Some limited open water on Lake Superior. That could lead to some limited lake effect snow. So highs today through the 30s. In fact, some of these warmer spots topping that uh, 40 degree line once again with that steady southerly flow. We're much warmer across the far western UP. We watched the threat for perhaps a stray snowflake here and there into this afternoon. Much cooler as you look east, as you can see some lake enhancement off of Lake Michigan, so we may see uh, some uh, more enhanced snowfall across some of those eastern counties. We stay mild through the overnight. It is the coolest across those eastern counties. Much warmer as you look uh, west ahead of that front. Increasing clouds still will be the theme, and we're warm enough for perhaps a, a touch of freezing rain, freezing drizzle into our early Friday. That actually continues into those south and central counties until perhaps lunchtime Friday. You can see we warm up right through the 30s and even low 40s under that southerly flow. Again, we cool down into our Saturday. On the TV six day forecast, we start to clear out Saturday night. In fact, we'll be clear enough for temperatures to fall into the teens below zero for some Sunday cold, mainly sunny though, and we start to warm up as our little leprechaun dances his jig there. We talk about uh, temperatures through the 30s ahead of the next front towards midweek. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.